YouTube family. About last year, I made a video called um, "How to Be a Better Fighting Game Player" or "How to Be a Good How to Be Good at Fighting Games." I think that's what the title was. And today, I want to do a part two. Um, in the first part, um, I talked about a few things. I'm, I'm going to review those a little bit, and I'm also going to talk about how I build as a player. I build on what I learn. I build on what I've done. Um, and, and really challenge myself and, and kind of force myself to learn within the flow of the video game, uh, the fighting game. And, and I'm going to use this fighting game in particular for now, but generally what I'm saying, um, aside from a lot of the escalation things that I'm going to talk about specifically for this game, uh, apply to every fighting game. So um, I, want to start, I, I want to start off by saying I hate tips and tricks. So these aren't going to be tips and tricks per se because I hate tips and tricks and I believe that they fuck up, um, they, they, they really do fuck up the gaming environment. They fuck up the gaming world because they create, you know, when a guy with, with 20 million subscribers makes a video and says this is what you can do to be good, all of a sudden everyone who sees that video wants to replicate what quote unquote allows you to be good and now we have all these players playing the exact same way using the exact same characters the exact same combos um, camping the exact same spies using the same guns and I think that diminishes the natural gaming experience that I feel like everyone is looking for so I hate tips and tricks what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell y'all what I do um, these are going to be able to work for any character you want to do and it's going to help you individually mold how you want to be able to play fighting games so um, the first thing I do for this game specifically um, I go to my move list um, I go through these being a natural fighting game player um, this part is kind of easy for me because um, I I just kind of get it. It just kind of flows with me naturally that um, that it doesn't with a lot of other games. I'm a natural gamer and I'm a natural fighting game player, but I'm more natural in fighting games. So I can play. I'm, I'm slightly above average in pretty much every game that I play, but fighting games are what I can really get out and beat um, a, a lot of people in. So I like fighting games. So so this part is a little more natural for me. Um, I go through and I just learn these. I usually have to look at these maybe three or four times before I just have them. Um, the next two things are the most important. Um, these combos are extremely important. These are what's going to change the pace, change the flow, allow you to kind of mold the fight into how you want to play. Um, it's going to be tough when you're actually fighting against someone, but depending on how you use these combos in combination with this, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later, is you're going to be able to change the pace of the game to how you want them to play you if you're good enough. So what I, what I do first is I go through and I tag as many as I can tag, which I believe is six. Yeah, it's six. And I go through and I do the combos. I just go through and I do them. Well, that's supposed to be this, and then that's this. So, I go through and I do them as many times as I can, uh, as many times as I feel comfortable with, and I go through, and um, I clear it. Um, and then I, I try to do them again. Right. Just try to see if I have them. And I do. So so after that, um, so on and so forth, I go back up, I tag more combos, then I learn those combos, and then I do those combos. So that's pretty much how you get the combos down. Um, after you do that... The next most important thing is, and, and I really haven't, I can't really decide what is really more important between combos and special moves. I think they, they kind of come in conjunction. So you can't really have one without the other. Um, the special moves are really what's going to make your character different from any other character. These are what's going to make your character who he is. Um, but these, what they also do is the, they, they can start a combo, they can close out a combo, or they can continue a combo. They, these are what's going to help you string some of these together into more combos. So 
that's also extremely important. These should be some of the easiest ones to learn. Um, they kind of all have generally the same kind of formula and the same feel to them. So these should all be easy. If you, if you look closely, everything is down back square or down back triangle or, or, or some variation thereof other than this icy slide. So um, most characters are going to be somewhat like that. Uh, with, with some type of consistency like that. So you're going to have to just pretty much learn, um, you know, those as well. So once you get those, you'll be able to start thinking about how you want to play. This is when the tower becomes your best friend. You're going to go through the tower. You're going to figure out how you want to use these moves uh, in conjunction with each other. With, with each other. Once you get to the point where you're clearing that tower w w with with some type of relative ease, you come back to this practice realm that I'm in right now, and you start figuring out how to build on what you know. Uh, the most important thing about fighting games is getting these combos and stuff embedded in you so well to where you don't have to think about it when you actually have opposition because Scorpion is going to be swinging on you. He's not going to be standing there like he is now. So he's going to be swinging on you. So you have to have these combos so well that you don't have to think about them while you're being attacked by Scorpion. It's it, it's got to be natural. It's got to be free flowing. So with that being said, you come here, you practice, you learn how you're supposed to be stringing some of these together. So uh, me personally, you just got to kind of go to the attacks and see what's open. Um, first thing I saw was, hey, you know what? This guy gets popped into the air. It takes him a little while to go down. I might be able to add something into that. So the first thing I ever learned how to do was that combo. That's the first combo that, that I kind of came up with myself. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people did as well. Um, it's just natural. It's what you see. The second one I came up with was this one. Um, and what I noticed was, and I'm going to try to accidentally, there it is. If, um, right here. I'm coming in way too early with the second part of this combo. So you're going to have to tailor what you do a little bit. I, you can't come with this second part until he's halfway down. And those are the things you're going to have to learn with every single character. So he gets halfway down, I can pop him back up in the air, and I realize, you know what? He's, a, he's in the air for a few more seconds. Let me see if I might be able to put something else on the end of that. So that's when I... Uh, Hold on, let me see if I can get it. I've been having problems with this combo today, and I don't know why. There, there. Oh, I've been having so many problems with this combo today. <clears throat> Usually since I'm, uh... Since I'm making a video, of course. There it is right there. My timing is just a little bit off. You gotta be, your timing has to be perfect in fighting games. So I realized, you know what, there's a few more seconds, let me pop some other stuff off. So once you start to do things like that, once you start to kind of learn that you can string your own combos together, the next thing that you have to be able to do is kind of say, you know what, um, eventually you're gonna kind of burn out. You're gonna kind of burn out, and that's when you go to get online and see what other people have thought of. Um, what I usually do is I learn all my combos, I start trying to put some stuff together myself, I get some good combos in, and like I said, tower becomes your best friend. Go through it, go through the tower at a difficulty where you can do it. And the closer you get to just kind of going through it with these, you'll start to incorporate some of these new combos that you learn. For a moment, you're going to be, um, for a moment, you're going to feel kind of flustered, it's going to feel kind of new. And that's very important that you get through that phase, start incorporating those combos into the way you play. Because you're going to be able to run through it one time, you're going to feel like it's easy. And then while you're trying to incorporate new combos, all of a sudden it's going to feel hard again. And it's important that you get through that, get the combo fully embedded, and, and it's ultimately that's how you become a better player. But ultimately the best thing is learning those combos and then moving up in difficulty. Once you realize that you've learned all your combos, you're going through it with these, and now you really have to bump up in difficulty to, to become a better player. Right now, I'm doing, um, I, I play on hard. I'm not quite at very hard yet, but I'm at the point where I'm pretty much almost going through um, 
the hard tower flawlessly but you got to start incorporating these combos into these towers as you're trying to get better in each tower that's extremely important but um, you go online um, you see how other people are doing their combos and then you learn them and, and and when you already know all of your combos all your special moves they don't really have to say oh push this button push this button push this button you see that they're doing stuff like this and you just know how to perform those attacks so all you have to figure out is the timing and the stringing of those particular combos so I usually go and I learn one decent combo um, from someone else at a time a lot of times I don't like the way they do it um, this is how this is how this combo originally was when I learned it online he kicks him twice well, if I can get it he kicks him twice comes with the hammer kicks him twice, comes with the hammer, punches him here, and then does that. But that only gives me 31. So I decided that I wanted to get that extra percentage by go ahead and bouncing him down and then throwing that in. So you're going to be able to change it up the way you want based on the way you want to play. And that's also extremely important. And then once you get to the point where you can do these combos and you're learning these combos, tower becomes your best friend go through the tower and see if you can do these combos in the tower because if you can do these combos in the tower you can do them in in battle uh, it, it's going to feel uncomfortable at first once you've learned certain combos and you know how to get those combos off on the computers on on whatever difficulty you're comfortable with at the time it's extremely important but when you're learning those new combos you don't have that luxury you're not as comfortable but once you get comfortable you will be a better player so um, that's pretty much what I have to say about that. I don't know how much time I have in the video. I don't get a countdown or anything like that when I'm doing my live commentaries on PS4. So I'm just going to kind of start pra practicing some of the combos that I've known. Um, oh, my analogy. For those who haven't heard my analogy, um, and I hope I have enough time, but I'm not sure. Um, it it's pretty much like driving a car. Learning your combos and getting good at this game, and fighting games in general, is like driving a car. When you first learn, you know, you're thinking of, oh, let me put my foot on the gas. Let me keep close to the brake in case I need it. Oh, it's a red light. Time to stop. Um, let me put my blinker on. I'm about to turn. But once you start driving, once you start driving, you're not thinking about all those things. Once you get good, once you've been on the road, those things just come naturally. And you're not thinking about them as you're doing them. You're just doing them. And then you can get to the point where you drive and talk on the phone um, you're not supposed to but people try to drive and text some people drive and eat some people drive and like read all types of things and that's because once it's embedded in you you've got it um, one problem that you may run into oh man I hope I have time to say this um, is some combos may start off certain ways and a sign of not really having it embedded correctly is if you try to do one combo but end up doing another because of the setup being the same and although the result may still be good it's still a reflection on your skill because if you're doing something that you're not trying to do you're making a mistake and that means that you haven't really got the combo down yet so that's another problem you're probably going to run into um, it looks like I have I, I do quite, quite a bit of time so for now for, until the end I'm pretty much just going to practice some of the combos here's one of my favorite ones that I'm trying to learn that's not it. And that's that thing I was telling y'all about. I'm accidentally doing another combo because the setup is the same. Uh, nope, that's another combo. This. That's not it either. This. Okay. It's probably gonna cut me off. But I have nothing else to say, so that, that's okay. Hopefully I can get y'all to see this combo. That's it right there. Highest combo I know. Oh, it's just tough getting it off. But you gotta just get in here and practice it. You're gonna feel dumb doing the same thing over and over again, but... That's the point. That is the point. Oh, 
Oh, my God. 